Pittsburgh's Action News 4 reporter Courtney Fisher live for us in Mount Oliver. Courtney, this is just devastating for those involved. And Matt, this family lost everything. I know it's hard to see out here, but there are crews behind me that are working to still board up this home to keep it safe for the family tonight. Obviously, a very tough day for them. Charred two by fours are what's left of the back porch. The couple who lives here says this is where they think the fire started. They say they used the grill earlier tonight and noticed flames an hour after dinner. Mary Pat Nolan lives across the street. First, we seen the smoke, the like thick black smoke, and then I seen the flames. Panic set in. You could just see it switching over. She knew she had to help. There was nobody out. So he, started, he ran down here and started beating on doors to get people out. To, out. And then I was on the phone with 911 screaming, trying to get them to come get this. Nolan's biggest fear in the back of her mind that this could be a repeat of what happened two months ago a couple streets away. All I could think was Ormsby. All I could think was Ormsby. This is narrower than Ormsby. Nine homes were damaged and 50 people left homeless in a fire on Ormsby Avenue. It's still fresh in the neighbors' minds. Well, it could happen to me, it could happen to anybody. You know, I have friends of mine that were living on uh, Ormsby. And that's why Donald Callender Jr. wanted to help too. Me and my son were directing traffic up on Market and Hayes. Because it's tough to see a family lose everything. Thank God, like you said, no one got hurt and um, there were no animals and stuff. That's one good thing about it. And these neighbors made it clear they'll be here to help this couple get back on their feet. We have a great neighborhood here.